Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football, perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary position. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League, the group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It is Atalanta facing Real Madrid. Yeah, cheers, Derek. Well, what a big moment for this club and these fans. But as underdogs, you've got to put the pressure on early doors. You've got to use that home advantage, push back the team that's playing against you and hopefully get a goal just to put the pressure on. Well, back in season 1992-93, the old European Cup, as it was, became the UEFA Champions League. Back in your playing days, Lee. Yeah, absolutely. I can just about remember that far back, Derek, to be honest with you. But it, players were a little bit cautious about the new Champions League and how it was going to take shape and the format, etc. But certainly uh, the European Cup is now a thing of the past and the Champions League has really taken shape. Modric. Toni Kroos. And Kroos in full control as he gets forward. Oh, he's through here! Well, from a seemingly impossible angle, not far away at all. Well, he thought he had a decent chance to score. I'm not sure his teammates did, though, but a little bit unlucky. Well, that's the frustration of a manager right there, watching his players come so close and being powerless to help. The starting 11 for Atalanta. Mattia Caldara plays with Rafael Toloi in central defence. And as for the attack, well, it has a bold look about it with three forwards listed from the beginning. An early goal, it is the ideal opening. Well, here it is again, it looks a simple goal. He gets in a position not that far out from goal, but he has to hit the target. He does that and it's in the back of the net. So the action continues. Will there be a quick response from Real? Casemiro. Benzema. Modric. Offside, a tight one. Hans Hattebor. Taking care of business defensively here. Tony Kroos. Remo Freuler. They've lost it. An effective challenge. Remo Freuler. Duvan Zapata. Gomez. It's opening up for them. That's a very impressive piece of defending. Rodrigo. Karim Benzema. Casemiro. Modric. And a good looking ball. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Well, they can keep possession of it now. They're really pressing their opponents. Remo Freuler. Over the touchline for a throw in. Casemiro. Rodrigo. The ball with Luka Modric. Attacking possibilities for Real. Well, offside anyway, albeit a tight one. It might be on for them. 
It needs an accurate cross. Fruitful looking attack. Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to their lead. Over it comes. It hasn't come to very much. Remo Freuler. Gomez. Could it be Alejandro Gomez? Oh, first rate block by Ramos. Well, they are on the wrong end of the scoreline. But, Lee, your overall thoughts on their current situation? Well, I have to say, six out of ten for Real Madrid in this first half. They've been the nearly team. It's close, but they just need to be a bit more aggressive in midfield. Get the ball into wide areas. Get the ball in the box. Stretch the opposition. Corner for Real. Can they use it productively? And firing it into the area. And the defender takes care of business. Behind for another corner. Can they cash in? And fired over by Kroos. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Vinicius Junior. Could cross it in here. However, a well thought out piece of defending. gone out and it is going to be a goal kick not on top of his game for once Karim Benzema I think it's fair to say Lee yeah definitely Derek it's been below par today not tested the keeper enough the team do rely on him as well and he's not done it today that's why they're down in this game simple Real using width to good effect Luka Modric at the ready and a no-nonsense clearance Casemiro, now with Benzema, alert defending. The hosts are struggling in terms of possession, but they won't mind. They're winning this game. And why? Because their counter-attack is absolutely fantastic. Duvan Zapata. This looks promising. Remo Freuler. Not a particularly strong challenge. And he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Carvajal. Modric. Benzema. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Carvajal. Well, no stopping him. Can he find the angle? Still alive. Able to deal with the threat. Now can they counter clinically? Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. one for them to pursue it needs an accurate cross well that's how to break the spirit of the attacker but he could run onto it here and he's in well, they can say a big thank you to the goalkeeper. That was inspirational. Well, that's as good as a goal at the other end. Brilliant save from the keeper. Substitution for Real Madrid.
Over it comes. Well, he couldn't get the header on the target, but robust defending. Questo è il cambio deciso dal tecnico dell'Atalanta. Esce dal campo con il numero 3, Mattia Caldara. Entra con il numero 3. Well, the crowd have reacted to this effort the players are putting in. They just need to keep their concentration and the game should be theirs. Real Madrid attacking and they have to give it a go with time not on their side. Horse ready to fire and caught with ease. No real threat from the cross. Mario Pasalic. Wanted to keep it but couldn't. Ramos well, couldn't quite find his teammate well, they need to get tighter here Gomez and the keeper taking care of the situation one minute remaining He's got to clear his lines. And that brings the action to its conclusion. You've got to say, Lee, a horrible...